On a recent YouTube poll, nearly 1,000 of my subscribers voted and they wanted to see Pomni drawn in four different styles, so that's what you're going to see in today's video. Let's get to it. Pomni is the main protagonist of The Amazing Digital Circus, and even though we're only two episodes in, we still don't actually know a whole heck of a lot about her. But in my personal opinion, Kane is behind all of it. I personally think that he's more of like the demi Urge character, the one who's secretly pulling the strings behind the scenes. My reasons being is that he seems to have unlimited control. He is a godlike figure within the digital circus. He can erase characters simply from the circus itself, and yet shows little to no remorse for anything that happens to the characters. This might get flushed out in future episodes, especially now with it coming to Netflix, and I'm really excited for this. It reminds me of when Has Been Hotel was put on Amazon, and it was the derivative of Hell of a Boss. So I would love to see what the production values can be as it moves to Netflix, but still stays on YouTube as well. I went a little heavy handed with the grays in her face, so I went back in with a lot of whites, both acrylic paints and in color pencils, to pop out a lot of those colors. I like using a lot of dark haunting colors when I do my style. I love using the inks as an underpainting, but I went a little heavy handed, and admittedly, I understood that I went a little heavy handed. We're on to the drip style and I kind of changed things up a little bit. I went with my Posca markers. I really wanted dark, bold outlines and really vibrant colors that just kind of punch in there. And I find that Posca markers give that effect a heck of a lot more as most acrylic paint pens do than your traditional alcohol markers. Unlike some other illustrative work that you might see with the drip drawing and drip style, I decided to change mine up a little bit and give it a little more of an artistic look to it. I decided to give a little bit more of a rough kind of shading rather than a very smooth and broad illustrative look. This was done more out of an aesthetic just because I liked how the way it looked. To me, it just gives it a little bit more flair, a little bit more grittiness to the overall theme of the piece. Next, we're up to Cracked, and the reason why I did that is because in more recent videos, everyone's really loved to see how the characters look in this newer style that you probably haven't seen any other artists on YouTube do, and that I like to say that I created because I've never seen anyone make anything look like a cracked piece of stone. If you've made it this far in the video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I know that I say that a lot in a lot of my videos, but I really do appreciate the volume of comments and questions that you guys contribute to the channel because you are all a part of this channel. Without your comments and your suggestions that you constantly throw at me, it wouldn't help fuel the growth of the channel that I've had. And it really means a lot whenever I see a comment. So I do take the time to comment. If you take the time to send a comment, then I will take the time to answer them. A little tip for those of you that want to try this style, when you're trying to do the cracks, just have a little flicker in your hand. Don't just try and do straight lines. Do as Bob Ross would say when he's doing his trees, to have like a little nervous twitch in your hand. And now we have the horror style, which is so fitting because not only do they have a horror themed show coming up for the digital circus, but we're right around the corner to Halloween, which is one of my favorite holidays of all. For the design, I kept it really simple. I kept it a basic zombie, but I wanted to keep it a little cartoony, hence by the over-exaggeration of the lips and the eyes, because Pomni is a goofy-looking character. She's supposed to be a jester, so you want to make sure that it doesn't deviate too much from what the core of the character is. Thank you. 
I decided to change the overall aesthetic of the eye because I really like this concept of bloodshot eyes, but in the colors of the other eye. I think it gives it a really creepy, unique feeling. If you like this drawing, YouTube thinks that you'll really love this drawing that's popping on the screen now. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.